Enable. 3D Experience Forum India 2023 presented by the Saw System. Everyone observed the economy evolving from a, a product-centric economy to what I call a usage-centric economy, which is basically the experience. Experience by citizen, by passion, by people at work. You, you, it's a move from a product-centric to value the experience. That's one thing. The second move is, as you said, the preoccupation for sustainability, mm -hmm. uh, frugality, and uh, making sure that the impact or the value you produce of the product and services to your end mm -hmm. consumer uh, is higher than the negative aspect you have on uh, mother nature. Harmonizing products, nature, and life in pursuit of a sustainable economy with a reduced carbon footprint is essential for nurturing Mother Nature and safeguarding it for the benefit of future generations. Very warm welcome to Desaw Systems 3D Experience Forum India 2023, where innovation and technology converge to shape the future. I'm Mugdha Kalra, and today we embark on a journey filled with insights about Virtual Twin for Sustainable Economy. We have an action packed day ahead as we dive deep into Forum 2023. Let's kick things off with a glimpse of the morning session. The day began with the buzz of anticipation as attendees from various corners of the globe poured in. The playground and demo pods areas were abuzz with activity and the stage was prepped for the grand plenary session. These early moments set the tone for what promised to be a day of learning, collaboration and innovation. Let's deep dive into the world of innovation with some storytelling. Faster recovery, empowered to create, and validate products quicker, better, and in a sustainable manner. Welcome to 3D Experience Forum India 2023. As we embrace change, let's explore the statistics that set Forum 2023 apart. The 17th edition of the 3D Experience Forum drew in more than a thousand attendees, making it a highly attended event. Deepa Kenji, Managing Director of Desa Systems India, shared his insights into India's geo outlook. We need entire world to come together and then work towards a common goal. And we experienced through G20 this year with the G20 presidency and the summit which got concluded this September in uh, Delhi was a clear, clear demonstration of what we are doing in India and what we want to do in future. We were happy to be part of some of the events with G20 and also there were many, many topics covered. But one common topic which was very evident was on sustainability. And sustainability is at the core now. And then as you all know, there are initiatives happening at government level, supporting organizations, up, coming up with PLI schemes, thinking of like, you know, getting into new logistics, bringing maybe Gati Shakti or having uh, the mobility sector through Bharat, NCAP, these mega trends are happening and now that's the positive trend which we are seeing. Next in line was the visionary leader, Bhaknath Chalis, who delivered the keynote speech. A lot of innovation is happening. It's a vibrant community and we really enjoy to be part of this and be the catalyst and the enabler of creating this new world that will be more sustainable. There are two factors that we have took for many years already together. There are two factors that are coming together, which I think are important to keep in mind to understand why on what on why we do what we do at the system for you. The first thing is the experience economy, but it's really an economy that is shifting from product centric to uh, usage centric. We, we call it experience economy. Uh, on the value of that, I think there is a sustainability dimension in it. Because when you observe the reality of how products and services are used, it's very different from the initial intent or even the content of the products. 
So there is a notion of frugality that can emerge from observing the real world. And that's the beauty of the experience economy. And the second dimension, of course, is the preoccupation for sustainability. Uh, it's a wide topic, a big topic. But I think uh, we all can admit that all industries, not only manufacturing, all industries, have been using the very similar principle over the past century. Florence Wurzelin, EVP Industry Marketing and Sustainability, DESA Systems, presents an informative talk on industry transformation for a sustainable economy. You're very lucky because you live in India and this revolution is happening here in India. You know, I was talking about the experience economy and Bernard as well. Well, car companies, they want to change from car provider to mobility provider and sustainability mobility provider where the, well the world leader in mobility right now is india because they have the maximum uses of mobility apps and second well all these revolutions are going to be triggered by the virtual twin and data thanks to morgan zimmerman in for the data analytics and here again when it comes to data analytics artificial intelligence and virtual twin 57% of the Indian company have already begun to invest. And it shows. It shows in what India is able to accomplish. Followed by a special video message on Digital India, technology innovations that drive sustainable economy by Abhyudai Jindal, Managing Director, JSL Limited. The journey towards sustainability is impossible without the power of digital technologies. And I see technology as an enabler to break silos in many specialized processes we follow in complex business cycles and drive more collaboration. Today, we have the power of virtual twins, which gives us the ability to transform our processes through simulation, analysis, and optimization of every aspect of our operations. This not only helps in better collaboration, but also helps in reducing waste, drive sustainable innovation and efficiencies at speed. I am glad to state that at JSL, the source systems has become our trusted partner on path towards sustainable innovation. I believe that this partnership will introduce us to certain practices and solutions that would be pivotal in driving us towards a greener and sustainable future. Later, Dr. N. Sarvanan, President and CTO of Ashok Leyland, conducted a powerful session. So we're looking at what is called an open innovation model, where we collaborate with multiple partners to get the pieces in place, whether it is the ecosystem pieces, whether it's a technology piece. So I, I do believe going forward, it'll be more a model of open innovation. We have large players working with smaller startups so that we, they build the entire innovation platform so that the learning is much faster and therefore innovation can happen at a global level. Throughout the day, various themes were discussed, including a fireside chat on transforming supply chains with virtual twin technology. During the COVID, the software industry adapted the first, the manufacturing industry adapted. We started in a way wherein we never could imagine that we could actually work from home and still manage the operations. That was the most, uh, I mean, unique way of adapting to things. And we know that if we have to create jobs for the Indian, uh, you know, middle class for the people who are passing out from engineering colleges, diplomas, ITIs, manufacturing is one of the key requirement for us. We have to grow there. The journey from ideas to impact with startups driving innovation in India. The students from the Gyana Prabodhini Prashala in Pune demonstrated Elifaya, a unique idea inspired by biomimicry that utilizes the elephant trunk mechanism to assist firefighters. It's just incredible what uh, Desa Systems is doing uh, for uh, the current generations and they're thinking beyond for future generations and what they're doing is simply incredible I would say because uh, they're not just thinking about technology bringing the cost down in different sectors across manufacturing, uh, healthcare and life sciences, uh, infra but uh, they're also uh, doing uh, you know roping in the sustainability angle which is which is great now let's explore the heart of innovation at forum 2023 the demo pods and the playground this is where the immersive action is the 3d experience forum playground is curated to reflect the vision of desa systems which is to harmonize product nature 
and life. The playground is a dynamic hub of interaction where attendees immerse themselves in cutting edge exhibits and technology. It's, it's, it's amazing actually. Many of the first we are seeing, as I said, in the technology trends, whatever that is going to be coming up in the future is already available here with the Dassault Systems 3D Experience platform. Be it a generative design with artificial intelligence or transforming the patient experience or even introducing our new virtual twin consultant, Emma Twin. It was all uh, uh, quite the first time and uh, all the audience were loving it. The demo pods area is where hands-on learning takes place and attendees gain practical knowledge that can transform industries. Well, we saw some wonderful uh, innovation being displayed uh, today uh, and we've, we've seen the virtual heart and that's one example of how some of the most complex uh, things around us can be simplified with the use of virtual twins. And uh, as far as technological innovation is concerned, I think today we've been able to touch everything from a molecule to the moon using technology. And now I have with me Florence. She is the Executive Vice President, Industry, Market and Sustainability here at Dassault System. Innovation is on one side and sustainability is on the other. Sustainability is also your area of expertise. Um, do you see a conscious shift towards sustainable practices? What are the challenges there? And what are some of the strategies that DESA is bringing for changing that outlook of the industry and perhaps uh, uh, adapting sustainable practices faster than uh, faster than before uh, what are the challenges there everybody is taking commitment and sustainability yeah. but but the question is how do you know and how do you do it right. and how do you know how do you measure it is the first okay. question because when you say that you want to do a net zero cell phone or a net zero car you was first to know how much co2 you mm. have in your actual electric vehicle and it all comes to the design, but also the way you manufacture and the way you are using your car. Mm -hmm. And most, uh, most of the manufacturers, they don't know beforehand how much mm -hmm. emissions they are going right. to need, or how much CO2, how much materials they are going to need to do a specific product. They know it at the end of the production, when it's too late, oh. because you have already right. emitted all the right. CO2. So that's where technology, 3D experience platform, that's a system platform, and virtual twin are coming. Before making the decision, you can know and optimize for sustainability. This is what us, that's a system, we are bringing to the manufacturers. Where do you see partnerships and collaborations when it comes to exchange of knowledge? A lot of industry are becoming, are very innovative right now. But where I see most collaboration are the industry where I'm seeing the most challenges. Healthcare. Healthcare, there is still a lot of disease, including mm. Alzheimer, including right. epilepsy, a, a, including a lot of operation where we don't know about the perfect treatment. Right. And in order to do that, we see a lot of university, hospital and pharmaceutical companies working together on the same virtual twin of the brain, of the heart, or of mm. any part of the body with a lot of data that come from the hospital, right. but that can also come from patient mm -hmm. in order to solve together the same problem. And you were mentioning IP mm -hmm. and indeed what's new mm -hmm. with the new virtual tool, with digital tool and virtual tool that we have is that we can protect IP. Oh. If, if for example, you and me, we decide together to do an electric plane. Mm -hmm. Well, I, go, I can work on the motor of the electric plane and you can work on all the simulations, the airflow simulation and the way it's going to be revealed in the virtual twin will protect your IP ah, and my IP. So you get your fair share of value, I'm getting my fair share of value, and nobody can steal my IP. And this was not possible without cloud and without that kind of IP protected virtual twin that is now available. Thank you so much for having this conversation with us. Thank you very much. It's been a pleasure. Well, on that note, we slip into a very short break. But on the other side, we talk about virtual twin experience, artificial intelligence, and of course, more on sustainability. So stay tuned.
3D Experience Forum India 2023 presented by The Saw System 3D Experience Forum India 2023 presented by The Saw System Welcome back everyone I hope you enjoyed the glimpses of the morning sessions time now for post lunch highlights Following an inspiring morning of sessions it's now time for the captivating post lunch discussion the enthusiasm in the room was electric with both participants and speakers eagerly awaiting what was next in store the sessions seamlessly aligned with the overarching theme for the forum which is experience the virtual twin for a sustainable economy and racing ahead with innovation where narayan kartike and the first formula 1 driver from india talked about the role of technology in motor sports technology as a layer of evolution of improvisation of the products and how formula 1 is becoming as a test bed for most of the commercial car makers so uh, telemetry in formula 1 is a is a very old technology it's been around for 30 odd years and um, when my first season there was two way telemetry right so the driver um, you know the 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 pit crew had all the data from you know what what the car was doing and so on and so forth but then to make it a little bit more involving they banned uh, telemetry so we just have data logging right now uh, but as you said rightly said you know hundreds of sensors a um, lot of data flowing all the time shaping the world with ai Praveen Mysore, Industry Consultant Director at Dassault Systems India, discussed Dassault Systems' contributions in the manufacturing, infrastructure, and life sciences sectors using generative AI. So you can see here how a model can be evolved for a given uh, molecule based on various criteria, and then how you can run the optimization for various uh, targets uh, set for uh, optimizing the design. and then the system will go and then evaluate various iterations and then throw you the results for you to choose from actually so this kind of automation is highly appreciated in uh, life science domain because doing this humanly is next to impossible india's manufacturing making it happen in the amritkal ravi kiran potukuchi director manufacturing tesla systems india had a deep dive discussion on india's manufacturing sector and operations excellence for sustainable innovation ashish chetri vice president of systems at asian paints and manzar abbas chief information officer at orient electric discussed critical aspects in the manufacturing sector and the potential of virtual twins to transform operations and virtual twin experiences powered by ai featuring leaders from diverse sectors morgan zimmerman ceo of netwise dassault systems and shri kumar panikar vp of global supply chain operations at eton discussed the role of the virtual twin experience in sourcing performance sharing their visionary insights and perspectives at dassault system we are covering uh, all of the area for source to contract with we'll staff for market trend Can we understand what are the new startups what are the new supply chain risks what are the opportunities that we can see on the market I would say the session was actually very relevant to the industries in terms of the challenges that we are facing first is about sustainability innovation collaboration or you talk about supply chain resiliency I think it is very relevant and I think I, I would uh, you know congratulate the team from the Sol Systems in really framing up this theme for today's uh, uh, conference I now have the pleasure of speaking to Bhagna Chales, CEO and Chairman of the Sol System. First of all, another successful industry event. Congratulations. Thank you very much. It's always exciting to be <laughs> meeting with customers and partners here in India. What has the experience been talking to so many stakeholders, new businesses, old businesses? What are the major challenges that you see that uh, you are likely expected to fix for them yeah well or at least contribute to yes. help them solve yeah. uh, there is a, a first thing for them many of them are confronted to redefine their offer mm. their portfolio very simple example uh, moving from uh, ice mobility internal combustion engine mobility yeah. to electrical vehicle uh, it's just not placing a, bat- a battery in the car it's more than that 
So that's what I call new product portfolio. Mm -hmm. Same goes on uh, many uh, systems for energy production, uh, for last mile delivery, you, you name them. So how do I define mm. my portfolio and how do I set up the priorities? Mm. The second aspect, and the, the, the two comes together because the, the first is forced by regulation mm. to accelerate. Sure. And then the second aspect is how can I improve my business not only from a financial performance, but also from reducing the negative effect of it, improving quality, quality of work for the people, which is also, also very sure. important, uh, on being able to have a better bill of the negative and positive aspect of it. I think those are two big trends. On the last point, which I think is key for India, mm -hmm. is contributing to the global business. Hmm. Before, there was a lot of development in India for India. I think this will continue. But when those companies can all, also export, demonstrate their competitiveness right. exporting, it changed their balance sheet. Uh, you spoke about businesses that are primarily working for the domestic economy, but you do want them to yeah. now start looking at the world. Does that also excite you with the startups you met here? Do you think uh, the startup lab that started last year uh, is showing uh, massive results for you? What has been the experience like? And are you planning to take uh, some of those uh, new ideas uh, to another level? That's the intent. It's, uh, I am impressed. Mm -hmm. to delight it, to see the dynamic on um, also the approach of innovation in India related to frugality, simplicity of things to solve an important problem. Uh, on the, um, the young generation, they have imagination. If you, if you equip them with the right thing, I have seen today in the selection of startups that have been using our solutions, some of those may I call them kids or young teams, mm -hmm. they are using what we do in a far better way than our existing clients. Wow. It's just a reveal. Yeah. In fact, they probably are going to be our best ambassadors for <laughs> our clients <laughs> going tomorrow. But there is really, we have seen in MedTech, mm -hmm. um, clean energy, right. uh, also smart products like, uh, you know, drones or uh, smart robots or sm smart manipulators to facilitate the life of people. Right. So it, it's a profusion of innovation. And uh, I notice that more and more with this program, our own clients here mm -hmm. are opening their eyes mm -hmm. about watching better what is around them. Maybe we are revealing to them what they have not necessarily noticed up to now. Thank you so much for having this conversation with us. As our day at Forum 2023 draws to a close, I thank each and every one of you for being a part of this incredible event. Don't forget to stay tuned for future events that will continue to shape the world of innovation. And with that, it's a wrap from us at Desa Systems 3D Experience Forum India 2023. Until next time, keep innovating. 3D Experience Forum India 2023 Presented by The Saw System Focus Ideate Innovate Enable